Welcome straight down to the tech desk today. I've got a quick one for you today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna install some internal storage into the PS5. So, I don't know if you're like me, I went in the Black Friday sale and I got myself one of these. This is only 500 gigabytes, but it only cost me 60 pounds for 500 gigabytes. That'll do me nicely. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need three things. You're gonna need a PS5 on the latest firmware. You're gonna need a compatible drive. And there's a list of criteria that PlayStation say. I'll leave that up there. So it needs to fit that criteria. But I kind of found the best thing to do is go on Amazon, have a look, and it will tell you if it's PS5 compatible or not and go and have a look at the reviews. And just doubly check with the table that this is fast enough. So this one is good enough. There is a one terabyte and two terabyte version as well. I just went for this because it was only 60 pounds in the Black Friday sale. And the third thing you're going to need is you're going to need a heat sink. So you, you need a heat sink if you're going to install one of these. There are loads of heat sinks out there. Um, some cheap, not some not so cheap. Some all pre pre-installed with the drive already. Um, I got this one because uh, Amazon told me that it fitted with this drive and it fitted with the PS5 and it only cost me £12, so I went and got that one. Um, I'm not going to waste time in installing, telling, teaching you how to install the heatsink because um, you might have a different heatsink, you might have one installed, so I'm not going to waste time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and we're just going to get the heatsink installed onto that off camera. There we have it, there's my drive installed into my heatsink. More nicely with the thermal pads, just follow the instructions on that, easy. Get to that point, right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the PS5. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take the white panel off, the opposite side to the logo, so the logo's on the other side, and all you do is you pull this up and push it back like that, so up and back that way. And then you'll see this slot over here. Now, get a screwdriver and take that screw out of there and then this metal bit come up there but it sits in there okay so just slide that out and there we go this is where your drive is going to sit there is a screw at the back there you're going to need to take that one out so again use the same screwdriver pop that out and when you take the screw out you'll notice there's a small metal ring yeah just put that to one side you won't be needing that for this then get your drive and fit it in into the slot into there like that just poke it in till it clicks and then you'll see there it's beautifully lined up with a one of the holes there and then what we're going to do is going to put the screw back into the housing so take the screw that you took out and pop it into this hole there it down not too tight just enough so you know that this will sit in there and you know it won't going to move so make sure that's just not too tight okay that's done then what we do is going to pop this back on so slide that on and get the screw the big screw that we originally took out pop in there like that and then this back on so on push it on and then slide it up that way it clicks there we go and then we're done. And then we're gonna move over to show you what it looks like when we fire it up. So once the drive installed and you turn your PS5 back on, this is the first screen that you will see. And it'll say, do not format or turn off the PS5 or format the .m2 SSD. And exactly what we're gonna do is we're gonna flick over to format m.2 SSD. Click that. It takes no time at all. And then, okay, fine. That'll do nicely. As far as changing it's fine, settings. And then what we're gonna do is we're also gonna go into just have a look. Into settings, storage. There we go, it's there with 500 free gig. Okay, that's how you do it. Dead, dead simple. Do stick your thumbs up, do subscribe if you're new in here to the next video. Bye bye.